Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Blu-ray and 4K packaging. Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel today and in this video we're going to dive into the world of packaging. You guys have probably heard the terms like slipcover, slipcase, slipbox, digipack, eco case, steelbook. You've heard all these different things, right? Digibook. And nobody ever really explains what that means. And if you've been collecting for a while like me, you may know this already. Maybe you'll learn something from this. But I want to keep making videos like this because there are so many new physical media collectors. And for something like this to get into this hobby, sometimes it can be a little bit daunting to understand the difference between all the different types of packaging. I remember I was definitely that way 10 years ago when I started collecting. So this is another one of those videos, like I talked about slip covers specifically and their importance, that we're going to dive into some of the basics of collecting here so that everyone can understand what they're getting into and what you're looking at when you go to an online listing and it says something like digipack or digibook what that actually means what you're actually buying and what that looks like so that you guys can understand a little bit more about how to get into this hobby so the first thing i want to talk about is just standard regular old blu-ray and 4k cases because believe it or not there's actually a few different variations in all three of these cases here even though they look the same are actually slightly different. So I just want to explain that if you come across them in a store or if you get something online, if the package looks a little different than what you've seen on other cases, doesn't mean it's wrong. There's just variations. The first one here is the rock. And this is a little bit different because it's a skinnier case and it has a little locking mechanism on the side of the case that allows you to open it up and then close it and lock the side. I see these on some Sony releases and some of the early um, Fox stuff and some of the Touchstone stuff, but uh, not as popular so much anymore. And then of course you got your standard case, right? You open it up, it's solid blue, all solid plastic. You got one disc in here, sometimes two, but it's all rounded corners, pretty standard stuff. And then you've got what they call an eco case like this one here on Speed Racer, where you open it up and you'll notice it's significantly lighter. And then you'll see on the inside, you've got this sort of recycling logo that's cut out. These cases use less plastic, which is obviously better for the environment. And that's why they call them eco cases. Although a lot of people don't like them because they can get a little flimsy. And honestly, how much less plastic are they really using by using using an eco case so a lot of collectors don't love those the other thing you might come across and this has become more rare lately but there are also different color blu-ray cases the hulk for example came in this green case on a lot of the first pressings i know there are some other movies out there that came in pink cases like mean girls that came in red cases that come in uh, purple cases there's all kinds of different colors out there they've become more and more rare but they're still out there and you could come across them and that's always a fun thing to find in the wild so those are your standard blu-ray cases now the next term you probably hear a lot is slip cover and i just did a whole video on this so if you want to go check it out you can learn more about slip covers and why they're so collectible but this is basically a piece of cardboard that slides over the standard case. It's as simple as that. That's all that a slip cover means. This is a really cool one that I have for the ring. I love this slip cover. And there are others that are very collectible, which I break down in my video. Why some are worth a lot of money, why others aren't. Some of them are limited print runs, things like that. So check out that video. But when you hear the term slip cover, all that's referring to is just this cardboard sleeve that goes around the disc. So the next type of packaging you probably hear a lot about is a steel book and these have become very collectible they're usually limited editions and they are metal cases i don't know if they're actually steel but that's what they're called sometimes they have artwork on the inside sometimes they have more than one disc sometimes they have artwork on the back sometimes they don't and they all have this little spine here so it's a flat spine where you'll see your title on the steel book they snap shut they can get easily dented easily scratched so you have to be very careful with these the glossy ones also are very fingerprint prone but they are very tough to ship through the mail so if you get a dented one or a damaged one always make sure you go back to the retailer or the seller and try to get a refund now believe it or not some of you newer collectors out there may not know this but there's actually another type of packaging that is metal and it's called a metal pack and here's an example the wolverine these used to be pretty popular in the like 2010 to 2015 range target had a lot of these exclusives you'll notice it's also steel it's also metal it looks very similar but it folds completely flat and that means that on the back 
you don't have that little spine card there. So it folds completely flat out and the spine is different. So that's really the only difference is how they open. This one goes completely flat, whereas if you have a steel book, it opens up and it still shows you the spine. So the next term you may have heard when it comes to packaging is digibook. And what that means is that you're basically getting a package that looks somewhat like this. This is my King Kong digibook. And on the inside, when you open it up, you'll have your disc here, but you also have this little booklet, which is actually attached to the case. So that's your digibook. The book is here. The disc is here. They usually have really cool artwork. Oftentimes the corners get a little banged up and they are sort of like a matte feel to them. They have kind of a weird feel, nice spine, but they look like a book. They open like a book. Another cool example of this one with a slip cover on it is a recent release of Labyrinth on 4K. Again, very much like a book. Open this up. You've got all your pages. It has this kind of fat spine like a book does, but your disc is usually secured here in these plastic cases. So these are actually pretty collectible. I know a lot of people chase these, especially some of the older Universal 100th anniversary uh, digibooks, some of those Warner Brothers ones like King Kong. They can actually go for a fairly decent amount Amount. a lot of collectors out there like that packaging so now that you've heard the term digibook you may have also seen the term digipack which is most commonly associated with the Criterion Collection. Here's my copy of WALL-E from the Criterion Collection. And basically they give you this little slip box, right? But when you open it on the inside, it's not necessarily a book, so it's not a digi book, but it opens up and it might have some goodies in it like this little booklet here. And that's basically the only difference. It's sort of packaged the same way with the plastic hard cover. It has the big fat spine like a digi book but it doesn't actually have the booklet in it uh, attached to the case. So that's what they call a digi pack. It slides right out of this cardboard little box here. But there is a difference between this and the next packaging. So digi pack is pretty much criterion, but anything that looks like this and sort of folds open like a book that comes inside a box, that's a digi pack. Now you've seen digi book, you've seen digi pack, you've also seen slip covers, but how about a slip case? And this is something that imprint films does a lot of, and others have started to do it as well, like Shout Factory, Scream Factory. Um, but this is basically a case. And then on the inside, all you have is the movie. So just the movie slides out. If you open this up, it's a standard case. They do use some clear cases like Criterion, which is cool, but it is simply a slip case. The movie slides into the case. You've got some great artwork, but it doesn't have any of the extras. It's not that big, thick packaging, and it's not a slip cover that goes over the top of the movie. These movies slide out from the side, so we call that a slip case. Now, in the same vein, close between digipack and slip case is what I'd call a slip box, and you'll find these most commonly on releases from places like Arrow Video, but I have a great example here from the Masters of Cinema series over in the UK, and this is a slip box. It's usually a pretty hard quality box really nice cardboard a little bit thicker and it has more than just the movie in it so in this case sliding out of here I've got Dr. Caligari on 4k and then I've got this incredible booklet which is like a hundred pages long so there's two pieces here sometimes arrow video will put a poster in or other goodies art cards from time to time but that's the difference between a slip case and a slip box is the slip box feels more like a box set but on the inside it's just your case right here with a little booklet. So not quite a box set, not quite a slip cover. So I call it a slip box. And then of course, there are many different variations of box sets out there. One that I really like is this Paranormal Activity one that uh, Paramount put out recently. So on the inside, you've got all your different discs, right? And they're all in their own individual cases, but they're just in this box. This box material is a little bit cheaper. Some other people make boxes with like heavier card stock. Some of them are actually made out of metal tin and may hold steel books but essentially a box set is what you've come to you know probably see in a lot of different things these are common with vinyl with books with all kinds of media it's a box set it's a box a big box that holds a bunch of something very common for tv series um, very common for big franchises like paranormal activity or friday the 13th things like that but there's so many different variations of them it's impossible to show them all but they could have the tops lift off they could open up the side they could have magnetic clasps they could just be like this and have the discs open so many different variations of box sets but if you're expecting a box Box set you should be expecting something bigger than that slip box bigger than a digi pack it's more of a a larger set that has multiple movies within it so those are the essentials of blu-ray 
packaging. Those are the different types of packages, all the way from your standard cases and the variations to slip covers, slip boxes, slip cases, digi books, digi packs, steel books, metal packs, box sets. I tried to cover it all. If I missed any, let me know. But I think those are all the ones that I have. And of course, there's variations on each. There's variations on different slip covers. There's some clear ones. There's some thicker cardstock ones. There's some really thin ones. There's all kinds of variations on digi packs and slip boxes and what's inside of them. Some are bigger than others. But this is essentially what you need to look out for when you're looking at a listing for a movie and on eBay and it says it comes with a slip cover. That's what it means. If it says it's a digi pack from Criterion Collection, it means don't expect just their clear case. Expect a box that your case comes out of. If it's a digi book, expect there to be an actual booklet attached to the inside of your case. These are all the different things you can look out for when you're buying and if you come across these things in stores or while you're shopping used, Hopefully, now you know what to look for, you know what these different types of packaging are, and it'll help you make some better decisions on which versions of movies you want to buy. So thanks for watching this video. If you want more physical media, movie collecting, Blu-ray, 4K, DVD, home theater topics like this, you've come to the right spot. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video and you join our awesome community. Also, make sure you like this video so others will see it and we can keep educating people on physical media because I think that is a major reason. It's a little uh, daunting to get into. I think it's a major reason why it hasn't picked up so much steam in the last few years because people just get overwhelmed. It's not just that you go out and buy a DVD anymore, right? And there might be a cool box set. There's so many different options and so many different formats. And so I want to keep educating people on what all of this means because it's really not as confusing as they can make it out to be in some online listings and things like that if you don't know what you're looking for. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully even if you've been collecting for years, maybe you learned something new. Maybe you saw something cool in the video, but I appreciate you all watching. And of course, appreciate everybody who comes out to the channel every time I post a video. So thank you. Make sure to follow me on social media. Those links are in the description and I'll leave some links down in the description as well, the different partners and ways you can get discount codes to various movie related websites and things like that. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and stay healthy out there and I will talk to you all soon.